in the micro foundry and you'll perhaps recognize the the one of the charms that we've been casting using gravity casting these little charms come out nicely because they're a fairly simple shape and it's easy to vent because they're being cast in this way easy to vent the air from the bottom up towards the input in towards the in gate when the the job gets in need of much more venting and this loco wheel is, is, is a good example you can perhaps see the meniscus on the top of the incoming metal is nice and smooth it was well up to temperature it was flowing well but the air pressure in the bottom of the individual spoke molds was holding it out from the proper shape so we haven't got a full shape although it's otherwise a good casting the way round is to not individually vent each spoke but to exhaust all the all the air from the bottom through a little casting table using vacuum assist so the flask sits on this vacuum adapter and when we're ready we can open the vacuum exhausting the air from the mould under the hot metal drawing the metal into the mould and the vacuum is sourced from this tank which is will be pumped up to about minus 20 or so inches of mercury and the vacuum pump is a quick DIY conversion of a standard little compressor which is a non-destructive conversion it's still your useful compressor to have in the back of the car but we've tapped onto the in intake side which works quite nicely it pumps up this little tank X fire extinguisher tank up to our 20 inches of mercury in just over a minute and just show it pumping up, I'll close that off that will sustain the vacuum if I turn it off there until we're ready to cast when we're casting the melted and burnt out flask is taken from the, the burnout furnace and before we drop it into the vacuum table we put a quick bead of ordinary bath bathroom uh, silicone sealant around the outer rim of the table so that when we push the, the hot flask into it we get a good seal. That's basically the, the overall plan and we'll now do that with things up to temperature.